It's uh, Barry from Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. I want to give a Devar Torah uh, for, actually it was last week, I didn't give it because it came up very fast, so I'm just trying to fill in from last week. We have the Parsha Vitze, where uh, Yaakov, which later became Yisrael, has to leave his home, and he's running away from his brother, basically. His mother had the prophecy to know that his brother was going to kill him. So in order to protect him, he went to the home where she came from, his mother, and uh, there was Levan. Levan in Hebrew means white. And usually when someone gets married, you know, they wear white as a hopeful thing. But even his name was deceptive because it was anything but white. And what's interesting is that Yaakov, according to Rav Salavechik, he was a lonely man of faith. He is the Mariv prayer. He is the prayer of the later part of the day. He is the prayer of the night. He is the exile of the Jewish people because he is really the father of the Jewish family. He had 12 sons and his daughter Dina. So Yaakov actually starts his family by meeting his two cousins. The one was called Rachel, who he met right away and he fell in love with her, and the other one was Leah. Rachel was uh, beautiful as far as he perceived her to be, and Leah, also a lovely girl, but his, his desire was for uh, Rachel. But what his desire was and what Hashem's desire was was two different things. Because Levan tricked him. He said, I worked seven years for his, for his daughter, Rachel. And when time came, he changed. He changed it to Leah. But it was through Leah that actually the six children, half of the Jewish tribe of Israel came through Leah. So obviously it was God's purpose that Leah was as important as Rachel. However, Rachel also could not give birth and she also managed to have a son called Yosef. Yosef was known as the Tzaddik. Yaakov was a Tzaddik. But here Yosef was Joseph was the Tzaddik. In other words, he was able to be a Jew even in exile when he was forced and he was sold by his brothers in later chapters to Egypt and he still retained his Jewish identity while in Egypt. So that was a, the, the, this is what's going on. The exile of the Jewish people is really a return. It's a return to the land of the land of Israel, the land of Canaan. These were the land of the idol worshippers who were, who, who were acting less than human. Not like, not like, uh, not like uh, Torah personalities. A child sacrifice was one of their things, and among other crazy, other type of uh, behaviors, God told the Jewish people, "Go into the land. I'm giving it to you as an inheritance, and I will come there with you to dwell in this land." So that's fast forward, but getting back to this story here. Yaakov worked 20 years for, for both of his wives and he created a family of 12. But in these years, his wages, it says, were changed a hundred times. He was tricked, but Hashem was still with him. Even though he was tricked, he always managed to have the fear of God and work honestly. Matter of fact, at night as a shepherd, you see in the picture here the lamb. The lamb is symbolic of the Jewish people. They follow their masters. And all this, the, 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 a lot of the main characters in the, in, the, in the five books of Moses, they're shepherds. That was the thing. And the Egyptians were opposite of shepherds. They didn't like shepherds. But that was his job. 
and he worked cold nights, and he he did any any uh, damages that came to Levant. He t he didn't he didn't give it to his flock. He actually took the loss. So we learned from Yaakov to be yashar straight. Yaakov is known as Emes. Emes is truth. And there's, in Torah, there's a basic concept of truth and false. Sheker. Sheker is lie. So a, a character like Lavan is a, is, is, is a manipulator, is a liar. And he changes wages, as they say, a hundred times. And he changes daughters. He promised one daughter and he gave it another. And then in, and then in his, his disposition, he said, well, it's not like us to give the the uh, younger daughter over the oldest daughter. You know, he kind of like, he's laughing about it, yet he got another seven years out of him. So for 14 years he worked for him. Then he came, he had a vision, he had a vision of this ladder while he was approaching, before he even approached Laban, and he saw angels going up and down. So what was that about? It was about the night. Yaakov was the night. He only became Yisrael when he struggled with the angel of Esau and he knew that he could overcome him. So this is a point in time where he actually, his family is created and he has to sneak out from his family with all his children because he knows that Levan is going to come in and after him. Again, another dream comes to Levan and says, don't say good or bad about them, about Yaakov. Because that's the way I want it. And even Levan listened to the word of God. So here we have Yaakov in a whole new world, in a whole new situation. And he showed us what it means to be loyal, what it means to be honest at work. A lot of people don't realize it, but... To have a good work ethic is, is very important. He was able, and I think it was the first thing, he was able to manipulate the, uh, the breeding of his animals to get spot, spotted, speckled, and striped to his favor because Lavan was always switching things out. And in the end, Hashem created a miracle through the, through the uh, uh, almond branches that he was that excited the, the animals to have him leave the country with riches because he was true to Hashem. And Hashem told him, now it's time to leave. Now you're about to go. And he realizes that he's going to have to eventually go through the land of Esau, his brother, that he's running away for. So this is, will be continued next week. And I wish you all a, a good week because it's, Shabbos had passed. It's already Monday. And, but hopefully in a few days I'll give you another one for the next lesson. Shavuot we say. Have a good week.